because we like to shave. Oh, there we go. Welcome to the Roger B. Crop channel. Thanks for tuning in. So just finished shaving, got a nice clean shave, feel really good. I have a lot of people ask me today, say, hey Roger, you have really nice skin. How do you do it? All right, so I have quite a few secrets. I didn't know I was keeping a secret, so now I'm gonna share them with all of you. After you're done shaving, you might have a few little cuts and stuff on your face, didn't get too bad this time. So why would anybody want to put alcohol-based product on their face after they're done shaving? I don't know. Years ago, I figured out what works for me, and I think this is the world's best aftershave lotion. And anybody who shaves should use this. So girls or guys, anybody who shaves their legs, arms, whatever, you shave, chest, back, after you're done, put some hydrogen peroxide on it instead of alcohol-based product, feels way better. The other thing I have too is, well, if you can see back here, maybe I'll turn around a little bit. I got a lot of sun when I was in high school. I worked at a car wash. On Saturdays, I'd be there all day and get pretty burnt pretty bad. So I've got some, I've got a little bit extra redness I've been concerned about over the years. And so, you know what's amazing? is after I'm done shaving, I just put a little bit on my hand, rub it on my face. Just don't want to get this stuff in your eyes, you know. Put it on my neck, like that. And hydrogen peroxide, all it is is it's water with one extra part of oxygen. Most people know that you put this on cuts, Hospitals use it to disinfect. They put it in a bottle and spray it on the counters and use it as a cleaning solution. It's really, really inexpensive. Just remember, shut the lid when you're done. And I usually try and find the kind, I don't know if you can see that there, but there's, there's usually what's called a stabilizing agent in these. I try and find it without a stabilizing agent just because what is the stabilizing agent? You know, you wanna get as pure form as you possibly can. 3% works good. You can also use this as like a lotion. Put some on your hands, rub it around really good. And if you have a lot of cuts on your hand or really, really dry skin, you're gonna feel a little bit of stinging. So right now, hands feel pretty good. Don't feel anything. But I mean, look at, I don't know, should have shown you before and after. I mean, just look how it, like erases the age lines. 50 years old, can you believe that? It like erases the age lines. And you know, after you're done with your shower, don't be afraid to put some in your hands and rub it all over. It really, really, absolutely, it's like moisturizer, but it's something different. It's just amazing at oxygenating the skin. And as you know, your skin breathes oxygen. That's right. <laughs> so you're just kind of supercharging your skin is what you're doing. Again, do not get it in your eyes. And what's great is, so my little gum, you can use it as a mouthwash too. Now the dentist doesn't recommend it too frequently or too much. So, and if you swallow a little bit, guess what? You're not gonna die. It tastes kind of gross, but it's basically you're just putting more oxygen into your system. <laughs> If you have a sore throat, you can even gargle with hydrogen peroxide. My mom used to tell me, gargle with warm salt water. And that did nothing for me all those years growing up as a child. What works amazing is that hydrogen peroxide. Gargle with that and really get a good deep gargle, spit it out, give a little rinse. And again, if you swallow a little bit, you're gonna be just fine. Don't wanna swallow a lot, but by oxygenating your tonsils, how it disinfects. Check that out. Skin looks pretty good, 50 years old. So on the bottle it says, antiseptic for treatment of minor cuts and abrasions. Use as a gargle or rinse. First aid to help prevent the risk of infection in minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. Aids in the removal of pathogen, mucus, or other sections associated with occasional sore mouth. Like if you have a canker sore, this stuff is great for that. Why would I want to use anything else? Thanks for watching and tuning in. You have a fantastic day and keep that skin looking nice and healthy. Because we like to shave. Oxygenating, you be oxygenating your skin. 
I don't know if you can really tell from the quality of the camera there, but it's significantly reduced the redness that I had on my neck. 